You're in my world now. Welcome. We are now going to tackle the Labyrinthian branch. And you know something? We are... Let's see, it looks like we're exactly just past halfway. Because, yeah. That makes it an odd number because those rooms are even, so... Nice. Okay, so we're going to head up in here. And we're going to tackle the Labyrinthian branch. Wish me luck. Uh, let's see. Hub instruction stage one. Ah, yes. The Labyrinthian branch. Three stages reach the end. The purple wool is yours. Remember, changing game mode or any other setting is cheating. Eh, don't worry. Ain't changing nothing. We basically have a hedge mage. I want to. I'm wanting to say hedge mage there, but it's hedge maze. You know, try saying hedge maze ten times fast. I bet it, you quickly tongue twister it up. So we apparently here have two paths. Uh, we're gonna take the spruce path. I'm wondering if both paths actually lead there or not. And we'll try the spruce path first. See how that goes. It's not spruce the whole way, though. But, there's spruce just further down each time. So it's making me think, yeah, if, if it's the spruce path, this might be the hint. And there's more spruce this way. Much more. Assuming it's a hint... Let's see if we can... Okay. Yeah, that was a bad path. So, we might have it. Wow. Uh, spruce. That's not it. Circle around. Spruce. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, I see spruce. I see spruce. Uh, this way. Let's, let's try this way. That's a lot of spruce there. Oh. Um. See, yeah, that's a dead end. So, we're just going to take a very spruce-heavy path this way. Like, this is insane amount of spruce. Did. And there's nether brick on that side. Does both paths actually lead back here? Huh. Okay. Well, he was he made the, the maze ridiculously easy. This must be easy mode and if I already guess it's probably hard mode. As hard mode as you can get for this. Checkpoint Stage two A Dark Maze? Okay, we went right last time, let's go right again. <laughs> At least this lights up the path. Unfortunately, the pressure plate sounds are a bit on the annoying. Uh, I think that's players. No. I can still hear it pretty loudly. Blocks. And, yeah, that was blocks, so we're not going to have as Big of a deal with the uh, pressure plates. Huh. This way. Bet you it's a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end. <laughs> so this is just going to be a matter of walking this, and at least this lights you up. You get to see where you're going and whatnot. A split in the path. Like a three-way split. We're going to just follow the end here. Circle around to what is likely to be a dead end. Or not. I don't know. Another split. Wow. Uh, I have a feeling that's a quick dead end. No, it's not a... Yeah, it's a quick dead end. It's not as quick as I expected. Okay, so we go this way.
give up. <laughs> nope. I've barely begun. This might be promising. It's, uh, maybe. Dude. Checkpoint. Stage three. I did it. Woohoo! <laughs> I pretty much followed that in one path. That was so unbelievably lucky. Hint, go right, apparently. You may want these. Okay. Stage three. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's the lava. Oy. I'm, uh, hang on one moment. Hey! <laughs> Closing entrance right in my face. Okay, so we are in a uh, lava maze. I've I'm actually going to try one more th one more thing. Nope. Video settings fancy. as well. My main concern here is the flowing lava giving me a headache. But, okay, so these obviously aren't for lighting purposes. My theory is they're breadcrumbs. And this is going to be a pain. I shouldn't have to ever look up. I came from that way. And I'm going this way. We're going to try this. If I hadn't set a pattern for this. And make my way through here. Okay, we came that way. We go this way. came this way, and we go this way. Something like this. Which, when we double back, we could double torch. Well, we could triple torch, because, hey, it's a dead end. I hope that's going to leave me enough torches to do this thing. I never marked that I went this way, did I? Nope. So, I really hate that there's lava walls here. Yeah, this is a dead end as well. It's, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to concentrate here because, one, I don't want to fall into the lava. I've been that way, I've been that way. Boom. Third one. Boom. Boom triple. So you can see all the torches there point to I've been through there and it's a dead end. Completely. Calming music to a trippy maze. The lava, it does not Ugh this I came from this way no dead end proof Ugh. okay closing my eyes IRL because that is a bit of an issue we're gonna, we're gonna try Okay, I came that way. No torches down any other side. I'm going to pick this one at random. 
I'm torching it so I can do this and hopefully be fine. I feel like I'm 100% yeah. Circling in on a dead end. Nice. I scraped the lava. I ended up not burning. That was a lucky break. Oh, well, there I go burning. This maze is going to be deadly. And I hate the lava. I just have a feeling that this one is one where I don't want to go down. One of these end the very end pads. That way, but not as a dead end. Okay. At least I've almost healed up. Thing is, oh, I hope this doesn't eat into my hunger. Double torch that way, and... Oh, which way to go? Go this one. This is where the torch method, my torching method, is going to be a little trickier to sustain. Well, at least that didn't last as long. We're starting to lose hunger, so we're going to start not healing from this. I hate... <laughs> I hate the lava. You're scra barely scraping, you're taking damage, and there's, no, there's not going to be any more healing up for me. I'm going to die. If I, hit, if I bump into the lava one more time, I'm dead. I, anything but a lava maze. I mean, seriously. It's the the flowing lava is hurting my eyes, and the lava is hurting my character. I got very lucky there. And goodbye, Torch. Tried to mark that that's a dead end. Okay. I'm going to assume this probably hurts everyone else's eyes as well. Speeding up will do no good, I can assure you of that. Without even trying. So... I'm probably very likely going to cut to the point that I escape the lava. Just, no, I'll put an annotation at this point to where I can escape the lava section of it. And we're basically going to knock this out in one episode, even if it's extended. Just because, well, we're on the third one, and the lava. I don't want it to hurt anyone else's eyes. So I'm going to have an annotation and 
we'll skip to the point where this is no longer an issue, even if that means we're getting the wool. For those of you who have remained, I won't be very chatty. It's just going to be me following the maze and very likely dying. Probably right here. Boom. Ha. Burned to death. I hate this one. I'm going a different route this time because, quite frankly, I don't want to have to backtrack. And I have a feeling this is going to be way more annoying. Ugh. We're going to came from that way. Well, eh, we'll just do this. We're going to go this way. I need to consolidate my torch method because I will run out of torches if I don't. But I'm I'm shift walking because that's probably the safest thing to do. Looking down at the floor keeps you centered too. So I mean that that's why I'm doing that. You stuck around. But I'm I'm absolutely hating the flowing lava and the bubbling sound. I don't know if that is doing anything negative but it the flowing lava is being very trippy for my eyesight Again, apologies for very quiet commentary, but in this particular case, I just want to get out of this maze. When I finish, I'm going to pause. I'm going to uh, kind of maybe rub my eyes or something. I'm like 90% sure this dead ends.
I must have come from that way, I think. Okay, uh, an annotation might only lead to here. Because I hit a checkpoint. And again, it looks like I've got to continue through this darn maze. Uh, at least there's a checkpoint. Okay. And... There's room up top, so... I might be more to the maze. Yeah, wait. One. Oof, this is going to be interesting. Well, I came from this direction. Boom. We're going to go gold and try and get out of here. So, annotation. Ugh, I don't know. I'm not going to annotate to this and then have you an annotation further in. We're just going to have the annotation take you straight to when I'm through the lava mess. Because I'm not going to subjugate you to nothing like this. Shift. If you're sti still watching, then please let me let me know how the uh, the lava is. I don't think the brightness was really doing anything. Might have, might would, but I don't knew. I feel like we might finally be approaching the end of this maze. I hope. I really hope this is coming up on the end. ladder okay annotation this is this is where you're going I'm not gonna be able to do the annotation as soon as I I'll have to let the video upload and render before I can touch the annotation but oh we made it thank God now we climb the ladder to checkpoint and we have a maze across the top of this. Basically, yeah. I can understand needing the lava here still, but uh, replace it below, like, replace it below so that it's not annoying. All right, so this, is this the only one? Yeah, this is it. Ugh, that checkpoint, I picked the right path. I were to guess, I'd say I need to follow my torch path, and that will lead me back to the beginning. This is effectively the same exact maze, just up top. And yeah, I'm going to shift. This is, the lava's not so bad up here as it is down there. Uh, let's see. Cut around this way. This is where I have a torch. Oh, wow. From up here, you could see how lucky we were not to take certain paths. That would have been annoying. So we came from this way, which means this is a good path to take. I could probably jump across 
but I don't want to have to do this again in the slightest. It's, at least we're almost done. You know, we would have had to jump across anyway. There is the checkpoint. And there is the exit, apparently. But we came in somewhere completely different. Ah, water to cool you off if you happen to set yourself on fire making that jump. We're done. We got this. First two mazes, good. Third maze, not in the slightest. Analyzing item, please stand back. Or, you know, I'm going to stand here. Boom. Labyrinthian complete. Next up, we have the dropper. We'll save that for next week. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you watched through the annotation, please let me know how that was be on the video. I, did it hurt your eyes? Or you know, was it weird like that? I will never make a maze out of lava. Because that is... That hurt my eyes, and I, if I didn't look down to keep myself centered, I might have actually ha begun to have an issue with it. But yeah, thank y'all for watching, and check the description below, and God bless. Mm -hmm.